Welcome back, folks. We're at the halfway point in Season 3, Serie C. We're absolutely flying. Let's see if we can keep it up. The first episode we did Rimini, we did Livorno. We won 3 1 both games. We then went on to beat Perugia, Vitor Bessi, we drew with Chisena, we beat Cararese, Fermana, Cesta Yolavanti in the Cup. To be honest, with the Cup, we've been rotating quite heavily because um, I don't really care about that cup. I don't think you win much money from it. Um, we then went on to beat Virtus and Teller, Jubio and Ternana. Lost to Ascoli. Pretty much, I think, it was one of those ones where the goalie has a bad game, from what I remember. Nah, they were a better team, to be fair. Um, yeah, we were one each, I think, and the goal was coming. I, I probably didn't react quickly enough. I could see that they were the match momentum was going in their favour. I didn't really change anything. I probably should have. We bounced back with a 2 0 win to Pinetto. We beat Campo Basso on a double header. Um, Viz Pissarro. And then we played a couple of teams at the bottom of the league, so we expected to get some points there off them anyway. And then we just lost this game to Catania before I started recording. This was definitely the goalkeeper absolutely chucking us under the bus. He played a 6.2. We were the better team. He's actually conceded three of the four shots that he had to, that he faced. The, the central defenders gave away a penalty and the striker in the right wing just didn't really turn up for the match. So it probably was a winnable game for us. We did have the better XG, but um, yeah, the goal is absolutely chucked us there. So as you can tell, we've not managed to sign another goalkeeper yet. Um, we did bring in Giuseppe Panico, um, some other player just to add to the attacking ranks. He can play left, right, or up top. And, and he's decent, finishing's not great. He's just a kind of rotation option, I think. Um, we bought Abubakar Diaby, who's pretty much a midfield destroyer. He just falls right into that kind of ball winning midfielder option. He came from Lignano. He's pretty, I think he's like, yeah, consistent. Doesn't hate big games, doesn't like big games, but the fact that he doesn't hate them is a good thing anyway. Pretty cheap wages as well, 250 quid a week, so ideal for us. We then signed Dennis Manu as well. It's just an upgrade in the ball and the sorry deep line playmaker option. Um, he's got average stats across the board. He's not brilliant, but he's not terrible. A couple of twelves, couple of elevens, and a fourteen there. Um, but he's got all the key stats you need. Well, attributes. I keep saying stats. All the key attributes you need for the deep line playmaker. Um, so yeah, he's a decent player. Performed pretty well for his. Um, one assist, one goal in eight games, but we've been heavily rotating, as you'll see in a minute. Uh, and Renato Martin was just, uh, I don't know if I covered this in the last one, it was right at the end of the transfer window. It was a blind loan from Roma. Works out he's not better than the goalkeeper we bought. So he's not played that much for us. Um, yeah, pretty much. In terms of the new signings, Musa started really, really well. It does say 11 goal, 8 goals in 11 games, right? But look at that form. His form has been absolutely really hit or miss. Like, mostly bad. Like, started off brilliant. And then he went he went through this really bad form of, like, a 6-4, a 6-3, a 6-4, a 6-4, 6-7. Then he played one good game. Then he had a wee couple of decent games. And then back to being really poor, which is quite strange considering he's supposed to be good for the league. Consistent, likes big matches. He's just not, I don't know if it's maybe a set on in thing, maybe, but um, yeah, pretty much not the best, but we're still top of the league. So we also signed um, Nicolo Brucci. That was another you know, deadline day number. It was just a wee loan, but pretty much um, good experience of the league, can play across the top lines again, just gives us more depth, I think. And we're really needing that. In terms of transfers out, Loris Santa's leaving. We actually got 60 grand for him which is quite good. And Shane Lavery has gone to, or going to Reggio Calabria. Uh, 30 grand we got in for him. Probably not as much as we thought, but it gets that £800 wage off. And he was not doing much for us at all. So he's not been playing, so he's kind of, the tributes have fallen off a cliff. But that kind of suits us anyway, because he, he had one goal in 16, uh, 14 appearances. So Moose has still been better than he has been, at least. Um, so yeah, pretty much doing not too bad. I can jump across and just show you quickly how San, Marino, uh, San Giovanni have been doing. Pretty much neck and neck top of the league. There's a couple of good results at the start. Um, obviously, we bought with the Europa League, uh, yeah, the Conference League, which we know. We dropped points here. That was an absolute scandal that we dropped points here. 
like absolutely I cannot believe we never scored in that game 24 chances 11 on target 2.49 xg the striker didn't even play poorly and yeah we just could not convert chances at all in that game um, and it was almost pretty much the same for the Cosmos game I mean look at that 31 <laughs> Shot seven on target, a 3.55 XG, and we still managed one goal. It's really not great. Um, I don't know if we maybe look at changing to two strikers at some point. Um, I don't know if maybe just the one striker is kind of relying on one guy to, to convert those chances. We're, get, we're doing well at getting the ball into the box and stuff. But I think, as I said before, they'll canter to the league anyway, so we won't need to worry too much. It's more the European qualifier. So this episode, we have got Pascara which is a top of the table clash to show you the league table actually while we're here we are top of the table by eight points pretty much what you'll find well what we've found this season is the other teams is they've dropped like a lot of points whereas we haven't i mean we've we've not entirely been convincing they've had a bit a better form i've just messed that up haven't so they've dropped quite a lot of points like a couple of draws in there uh, they did lose to Fermanagh as well and then They've had to go to extra time in the match before playing us, so that might work in our favour. Um, but yeah, so they're the team that's closest to us, so all being well, we can get three points and push that lead to 11 points, which would be, which would be smashing. We're not quite exactly at the halfway point, um, we're just slightly before it, but I kind of wanted to get the, the top of the table clashing, um, just because it's probably better for the recording rather than giving you the Arezzo and Livorno games or something like that so we'll do that jump in we'll play Piscara we'll play Monterosi they, they'd started the season really well actually um, but they've fallen away a bit as well recently I think they had a good bounce from getting promoted and then really their forms dropped off a cliff so I'm kind of hoping at least for three points um, I would take four I would take a draw against Piscara but we're hoping for we're hoping for six I would take four but at least we want three so let's jump in and get the game going actually let me give you a little update on the national team so i don't think we've done that for a few episodes now um doing not too bad we've moved up twice in the world rankings i think we'd gone up a wee bit higher as you can see we've got an absolute stinker of a um, european football championship qualifiers group so not the best but there's not really been much to report <laughs> which is why we probably haven't we've lost pretty much all games we've not scored a competitive goal all this season we lost to Andorra on a friendly we won a couple of games these were just like morale boosting ones the previous year again another full season of absolutely nothing and the year before that we did have a couple of good results in the Nations League but we're then subsequently going to get relegated from the Nations League again as you can see this time it says playoffs I think but yeah we're going to get relegated with no chance but yeah I thought we'd just give you a wee update because I haven't covered it off yet there's not been any good uh, new gens come through at all um so yeah really not a lot to report so what we'll do we're going to line up uh like this for this match against Piscara. um we're going to have to go with the goalkeeper because i really don't have another option he's been not bad but this is another reason why i needed a, a better goalkeeper or i wanted a better goalkeeper this season is because i don't think we're good enough like at the back defense isn't great it's probably the weakest part of the team is the defense and the goalie um, so when the forward players aren't on it, that's when we struggle. Uh, we've got pretty much uh, Cech here. I played a good game the last game, so we'll keep him on. Manu and Diaby in this double pivot. I, I'm keeping Bruce on. I wouldn't normally, because as you can see, we've managed to keep the match load down, so not a lot of guys are playing a heavy match load, but we've had a few injury issues, like Jao Baldi's been injured. Cantisani's just back from injury. Um, so we've been struggling kind of with the injuries a wee bit. I've left Musa on the bench just because he's kind of not in great form, plus he's got a heavy workload. So I'm going to go with Giuseppe Panico for this one. So let's dive into this game. This team like to counter press, so I've turned uh, like counter attacks, so I've turned their counter press off. I might turn it back on. Um, yeah, I might turn it back on if, we, if we're kind of losing control of the game a wee bit. We've kind of felt like a wee bit of drop off in form. We started the season really well, as you see in the first episode. We're scoring quite a lot of goals, not conceding that many. But we've kind of tailed off and we're scraping games like 2 1 and stuff like that sometimes. Um, 3 2 and that kind of thing. So we've not been brilliant. 
also I don't know if you've ever had this before I, I've only seen it for the first time earlier on is we play the in swinging corners to the near post and I watched a highlight with a corner where they played it short and I know that they're not going to do what I'm asking them to do every time but I just don't know why. I mean, it just you know that way you have asked the team to do something and it really annoys you when you don't do it. So like if you're asking for shorter passing and you see them playing a lot of long balls, you're kind of going, "Why are you doing that?" I'm asking you not to do that. Yes, with a goal up, Giuseppe Panico. He was a good signing actually. Picked him up for free. Um, he was just floating about without a, no club. He had played for Perugia and Serie B the season before. Um, and he didn't want too high a wage. He signed pretty quickly. I think there was no interest in him. It's a great finish. Our two new signings combining. If we win this game, that could be massive, massive for this league because we could be 11 to 12 points, 11 points clear with half the season to go for it right enough. But I think this, with the, with the other teams at the top of the league, they're conceding goals they're, they're kind of the problem's not great like I was saying at the start of the season we don't have a team like Spal who are just a Serie B level team in our division who are just smashing everybody a lot of the teams they're not brilliant we're not brilliant either but I think the work that we've done in the summer to build a squad that we can rotate players and we don't lose too much quality when we do rotate so we don't lose too much quality when we've got injuries that's a so, oh, that pass. Um, yeah, we don't lose a lot of quality when we do rotate. We are just can have a ball. Great break. We don't lose a lot when we do rotate. Can we combine for another one? Oh, Bruce is cutting and scored. Here we go. 2 0 up. Yeah, we, we've, we're able to rotate the team and not lose a lot of like quality. And then like we can rotate back and they're kind of quite consistent in that sense. Two of the guys are going for that there. He's actually nicked that goal from... I don't even know who that is. Pinnacle. He's robbed Pinnacle of his double there. Right, boys, let's not absolutely crumble here. We've got two goals up. We're clearly the better team. We've not had a single shot on target. I mean, Piscara are probably... The, I would say they could be... I think they were favourites for the league. They have probably got the strongest squad. And they're playing... It's weird because, like... I think one of their wingers, he's in, he must be injured for this game because he's not playing, is one of the best players in the league, like um, goals and assists wise, but he's not playing in this one. So, uh, uh, so uh, he's been off. Miatz has been good for the, the key passes and stuff like that. But what I've done just to combat that is I've just pressed them, I've showed them a weaker foot, and I've marked them tightly for this one. So we've got a ball winning midfielder who. Pretty much, I've just got him nailed onto him. So I'm like, just make sure that you close his game down and you completely nullify his threat. Della Rivera started the season really, really well. He's kind of tailed off a wee bit. I only started him in this one because the other player, Iorfe, that we play attack mid is kind of uh, heavy workload and I didn't want to run the risk of an injury if we can avoid it, but I might sub him off here. The good thing is we've got a good few options. That's a great ball. Three. Oh, he's hit the bar. We've got a good few. Oh, I was offside anyway. We've got a good few options that can play DM and AM, so we can we can kind of rotate a little bit. Um, gives us more flexibility with the squad. Right, let's take him off. Take him off, and we'll go with. Yori's in really good form though. So let's do that. Don't want to make too many subs. I think. With this league, I've been stung a couple of times. You do get five subs, but I think you can only get three stoppages. So if you don't make all your subs in the three stoppages, then you can't stop the game again for another sub. We've been brilliant in this game. Really, really turned up. Although that call, that free kick was not up to much at all. Looks like turning off the counter pressing has nullified their counter attacking. Because we're just kind of, we're totally snuffing them out. They're not, oh, that's a pass. We're not being dragged about the pitch trying to counter press them, which is good. Break that down, brilliant. Oh, where's the follow up, boys? Come on. Cargo's are, oh, it's a great tackle again. Ah, we're just nowhere. Big long highlight. This is going to be a goal, isn't it? 
penalty. Fuck off, man. Why are you pushing him in the box? Gabby's not having a great game. Save, save, save. Save. Right. But I make some subs here because we've got a couple of tired boys here and we've got somebody playing an absolute stinker. Um, let's put on Cantisani for Arasi and take off Dennis Manu for Danasi. He right footed? Yeah, yes, that's fine. Uh, right, lads, let's see this game right now. Scored two, saved a pen. Fair play to the goalie because he had a terrible game the last game and he's shown up in this one. And this is a big game as well. And he's not fond of big games, so fair play to him. I'll make sure he gets the required praise at the end of this match. Three points. Massive three points. That is a huge three points and we'll absolutely take it. Surely the goalie's got man of the match there for an 8.4. Yeah, he must have. Terrific. You were still. Oh, he's, I didn't see that Kelvin and Assis actually had a 9.7. Fair enough. Not good enough. Um, really good, yeah. And terrific. Terrific. Perfect. Right. Where does that sit as in the league then? 11 points clear. Uh, yeah, well, 10 points clear, sorry, Chisena have sneaked in with our next. They've actually had a wee resurgence um, in the last couple of games because they started off quite badly. Yeah, they started off a couple of draws, one against us, they lost to Pinheto, lost it again, Piscara and Sestri Levante, but then they picked up their form a little bit. But 10 points, we can't grumble with that. 10 points ahead, we have around about half the game's gone. Maybe about half, just under half the season gone. And we start, I think we had a pretty soft start to the season, to be honest. And I think we're just about to restart the game as L L Rimini, Livorno, that kind of thing. Coming up soon as well. So, perfect. Right, let's jump ahead. We'll go into the Monterosi game. They're ninth. I think they just lost another game, did they? And I th they're just about to play. But, yeah, we'll play them in the following week. And hopefully we can get another three points on the board. On to the next match then, uh, we're playing against Monterosi, they did win that game that they had, so they're up to 5th in the league. We have made a couple of swap rounds just purely because, I don't know how you still get a, a high workload. We've got pretty much a few players that have got a high workload, so we kind of don't want that to be the case. Some of them we don't have an option for because we don't have a replacement that's not playing elsewhere in the team. Um, so, like, Kizmerski can usually play AMC, but um, because we need him to play a DLP, then we we'll just have to leave him as it is. So, we're going to go with the same thing. I've taken out Spedaleri just for Tuziolo. I'm hoping that he has a better game than he did the last time. I actually might challenge him to have a better game because we want these three points here. Um, let's see. Just... Give him a wee bit of a good performance from you. Here we go. Let's make a six for six points here in the league. This is a newly promoted team. They've had a good season, to be fair, but still I reckon that we should be beating newly promoted teams. We've had a couple of seasons to build. What's oh, good chip? Oh, and Cantisani, he's back in. Back from injury, fresh. Kind of, because he's, he's still not up to match fitness. But he's back on the score sheet. That's what we love to see. We're giving Musa another game. I'm kind of hoping to see something from him in this game. That was a nice chip to the back post. And his weak foot as well. Can't decide just... Pff, he's not even got a head on him, but we'll absolutely take it. Right, good start, boys. Let's try and get maybe two or three ahead. Playing really good football by the looks of it anyway. Totally dominating the match. I don't think this is when we concede, isn't it? Right after I've said that. Win. Win that ball. Good play, boys. Could play Candisani on the right hand side if I really need to. He shouldn't play the 90 minutes, but might need him to. 
Hvis Brunners er sådan skåb til at gå ud, så er det post. Brunners er sådan skåb til at gå ud i en af de ældre games, hvor han var bare tilbage fra en så vi did miss ham i den sens. Vi har haft ham, jeg tror, siden den serie D. Han har faktisk været med i den af den serie D, så han har været med os i nogle år. Because we're creeping up to like the January window now, I'm kind of looking at players we can bring in, but I'm thinking ahead now at the point where I'm like, I don't want to spend too much money on players who might not make the step up if we win the league this year. So we're doing well. Let's quickly just take off counter pressing, I think. Yeah, I don't know if it's like, I don't really want to um, sign a lot of players and then we get promoted winning, by winning the league. And then we're kind of stuck with some we're spending money on players that don't really make the step up to the next level. So hold off a wee bit. Let's try and get another goal here, boys. I don't like a one 0 score line. Too too easy just to concede a really cheap goal. Good ball, yeah. Good ball, Musa. He's hit the bar and in. Go on, sir. A good response for the lad there because he's been kind of hit or miss this season, but it's a really good ball in and a good header. The, the, this left wing back has been a on attack, has been a great header, it's been a really good like no choice or permission or position for us because they've been bombing up. And it's same with Machioni when he plays as well. With it. As long as they've got a good cross and they can and they're quite fast. You can bomb up that left hand side and whip a ball in and as long as you've got somebody in the box that can convert it, you're laughing. You're absolutely laughing. Break away. Nice. How many players have we got forward? Yeah, I think as, as long as you've got someone in the box that can convert it, you're laughing here. Oh, go on. Oh, he's hit the post. Yes, I last he scored the rebound. I mean, we've hit the post twice there, I thought from Musa had probably been on for scoring that there, but fair enough, right. Well, three goals to the good here. Let's watch this replay and make some subs. Because we can take the tired players off. This is really, that's a sitter kind of a wee bit. I know there's a goalie there, but right. It's a bit of a sitter. Right, okay, let's make a couple of changes. I think we could actually... Let's put Cantisani on the right. Bring on... Aniko to play on the left. Um, could probably just get the old fresh legs on. How many subs is that? Three. To make five, so I'll just make another one. And we'll leave it at that, just in case we get a wee injury. So that freshens up the squad. But I kind of now past the the busy period of the season, so or most of the games are like a week apart now. Meaning that you don't have to worry too much about like rotating and subbing, making lots of subs and stuff. It's just because we play quite a high intensity game that you kind of need to sub guys a wee bit more often. But that is absolutely fantastic, boys. We'll take that. What's that? Five goals, none conceded. Conceded none against Piscana. I think we did. Yeah, we saved the penalty. Five goals, zero conceded in two games. Beautiful stuff. Everybody playing absolutely excellent there. Mirsky having a really good game. Let's see where that leaves us in the league. What was the Chisena score? That was what I wanted to check. Ah, the one three one, right? Okay, fair enough. They were putting a team at the bottom of the league though, Greater Bessie, so I wasn't expecting much, but Piscara actually dropped more points um, in their last game. They drew with Ascoli away from home. Ascoli's another tough game as well, because they're fourth in the league, so yeah, they drew, so they dropped a couple more points. So we're now ten points still ahead of Chisena. They get a tough run of games coming up. I'm kind of hoping they just drop more points. Now they've got a few easy games or easier games before we play them again. And we've got them away from home. They're yeah, puffy. Right, that's that'll do us for this episode then. What we'll do, it'll crack on. I'll just finish the rest of the season up until the point where it either becomes a title decider game or we get to the playoffs again. If we get to the playoffs again, I'll be pretty pissed off because we're sailing, our form's really good, scoring a lot of goals, we're playing really well, and the end's in sight, so I, I think I'd be raging if we managed to get end up dropping off, but we'll see how it goes. Still got the January window coming up in about four or three games, 
yeah, three games we can start making some moves again. So we'll see what that unfolds there and see if we can maybe bring some more players in and we free some wages up. But thanks very much for tuning in, folks. I hope you enjoy it and I shall see you on the next one. Take it easy.